without warning, I got blindsided right through here and it broke my jaw completely in two. Beaten up by his own stepson. That is what a Nashville man says happened in the middle of his apartment complex parking lot. News Force Cameron Taylor live for us tonight. Cameron, those pictures so difficult to look at. It was all over a car. Yeah, Tracy and Tom and that man says his teenage stepson grabbed his keys and tried to take off in his car. The man blocked the front door so he couldn't get away. And that's when he says things turn violent. These pictures of Jerry Schomleffel may be hard to look at. They show the 68 year old with blood, cuts and bruises. I had injuries here. I had one crushed here that's starting to heal up pretty well. More than a week ago, Sean Leffel says he got into an argument with his stepson, Caleb Morse, over a car. He says the 18-year-old was angry and not taking no for an answer. I wouldn't allow him to take it in that state of mind. I was more concerned about his safety at that point. Court records say Morse pushed his stepdad down and later punched him in the face in this apartment complex parking lot. He now faces domestic assault charges. It hurts because it's my dad, but in general, you know, what 18-year-old puts his hands on a, a senior citizen? Pictures of Morse and his achievements are on the walls of Sean Leffel's apartment. The last six months have been tough, with Morse's mother unexpectedly dying. Sean Leffel says the teen has struggled with mental health issues over the years. There's just a real need for kids with mental health issues that we don't have. He has a plea if his stepson is listening tonight. Please work with the system and try and get the help you truly need. And Sean Leffel has surgery tomorrow to fix his broken jaw. He says his mouth is going to be wired shut for at least a month. And we did reach out to Morris's attorney who did not get back with us. We also contacted his dad. He did not have anything to say to us. Tom Tracy. Hope he feels better soon. Cameron Taylor, thank you.